today is an exciting day because we're going to be taking out my brand new truck cap camper well brand new to me on a four day camping and fishing adventure we have some new additions to the pickup that i'm going to cover tonight i think i've made three different changes for this trip now, this would be the second official trip in this truck cap camper and it's going to mark seven days that i've spent living out of it oh i've got some really interesting dinner plans you guys who have followed the channel for a while know that i like to cook some pretty elaborate meals so these meals might surprise you a little bit they're going to be very interesting and uncharacteristic of me and i think i'll leave it at that you should probably stop by and get some gas before i get too far out of civilization here so this truck has a, I think it's a 32 gallon tank. Never excited to fill this thing. But on the bright side with that 30 something gallon tank, once I get way out in the woods, I don't have to come back as much to fill it, which I've really enjoyed. It's just, uh, it cost me like 120 to 130 bucks to fill this thing right now. $62 for less than half a tank. That's ridiculous. We're gonna go find a good spot to eat some lunch, get the waders on, and see if we can't catch a couple fish on our first day here. Yeah, it's a pretty cool spot show you what we got to eat. I like to make things ahead of time a lot, especially when I'm focused on fishing. We got an apple, some crackers, and cheese, I guess. So I'm gonna sit in the back of my truck cap camper here, enjoy the meal, and enjoy the view. All right, we made it. So now we're gonna get suited up. I'm gonna go out and try to catch a couple fish. We only have a few hours to do it, but hey, it's nice to be out and you never know, we might be able to get a couple fish. All right, the rod's rigged up. I got the waders on and we're gonna head down to the dam pool to start with. So I'm just hoping to get one fish today. That would really start off the trip well, but you never know, we might get a few, I might get a big one. Excited to be here, but my gosh, the water is running high. It's, it's gonna make for some pretty difficult fishing, especially now that we're gonna have to try to get so deep. The faster the water runs, um, the harder it is for me to sink down to the depths that I'm gonna have to be at. Wind's actually pretty strong here too. So this is gonna be a pretty difficult task, but that's okay. Let's see what we can do here. Really difficult flow to fish, but I'm gonna try to stick it out. I just switched from that olive retriever over to the white. Hopefully that's gonna give me some luck. I think I'm gonna stick it out here. Tomorrow we'll go explore different parts of the river, but for now, I'm just gonna spend another hour here just seeing what we can catch. Hopefully just get that one fish. That would be great.
got that one fish, which is almost a miracle because that water is running just about as high as I've ever seen it. Couldn't be more excited to get that one fish because, <laughs> man, I think the odds were stacked against us there. Well, it was really nice out earlier in the day, but it turned into kind of a chilly day here. I'm here to fill my water bottles for the night. Got to have some water for cooking. Kind of excited to make a warm meal as well. It's a little bit cloudy. That water is pretty turbulent right now. Not that the filter won't work, it's just that it's gonna clog it up a little bit. We're gonna go prepare a great meal to eat tonight. It's gonna be a warm meal and I'm pretty excited for that. I'm also gonna show you all the new updates that I have in the back of the camper here. Just some deer chilling, taking a nap right there. <laughs> kind of a funny spot. At first though, when I looked over, I thought they were rocks. Oh, sorry guys. We're kind of close to the road. This one just woke up a little confused. So let me show you what's on the menu for tonight. It's definitely very different than my normal style here. This is gonna be dinner right here. All prepackaged and ready to go. So we're gonna be having kind of a rice noodle pad thai. So we have some rice noodles, we have some beef jerky, cashews, and that is a little packet of peanut butter in here. In addition to that, we also have some veggies. I have broccoli, mushrooms, some snow peas, and red peppers. And it's all gonna be made inside this bag. Now, let me explain that a little bit. So lately, I've been kind of thinking about doing a long-term hiking trip. This trip in particular, I decided that I was going to try out some recipes that I would potentially have on the trail. So we have some interesting meal choices for this trip. It's definitely different than the normal style of cooking that I do. It is simple and fast, and it can be all made with my jet boil. So each day that we're gonna be camping, the meals are gonna get stranger and stranger because I'm doing this for four days and I didn't bring a cooler. The first few days, we're gonna be able to have things like veggies, but on the last few, uh, yeah, you'll just have to find out what that's gonna be like. Dump those in. It kinda sounds strange, but adding peanut butter to this Gives it a great texture and taste. Add in our beef jerky and cashews. Next up, some peanut butter. I just found some simple packets. Water is already boiling. I'm realizing now that I forgot something to eat this with. That's unfortunate. I'm gonna have some tree chopsticks, I guess. It's getting worse as we go. But those are pretty much ready to go. I mean, they don't take long at all. Right about there. I wanna keep a little bit of liquid in there to help mix in that peanut butter and dump it into our bag. And then seal that right up. That way we keep in the heat. It's not gonna look pretty, but it will taste good. dump out a serving into my mess bowl. And there you have it. That is tonight's dinner. Bon appetit, right? <laughs> it really doesn't look all that bad. I mean, it looks like rice noodles with veggies, which is essentially what it is. Kind of nice. And it's not bad. The peanut butter in it is actually a really good addition. 
the uh, utensils are a little troublesome. Hmm. Well, let me know in the comments, is this something you'd try or no? I, I'd gladly eat this anytime, actually. I'd eat this at home. I wanted to talk about some of the new additions that I made to this truck cap camper. During my first outing with this thing, there was just a couple things that I really wanted to fix. One of them was this tailgate. When I'm climbing out of this thing, I have to grab the tailgate and there's only so far I can reach before I have to let it go and the tailgate would just slam. That was something I wanted to fix and I did. I installed a DZ gasket which is a tailgate assist. And so it just helps lower it down without slamming. So that's the first addition I made. It was a super cheap fix. So there was no way I couldn't do it. I think I paid like 35 bucks for that. That's gonna be linked down below if you want one for your tailgate. The other thing that I installed is, is this little thing right here. So we click this and that turns on some lights on the inside. It was really hard for me to film last time I was out here. So I thought, oh, it might be a good idea to put some lights in there. Everything hooks up to this right here. And that just runs down to a small battery bank and we'll see how much battery it burns, but I'm guessing not much at all. The only problem with those is they're, I think they're a little bit dim. I, I think I brought the wrong thing. I got this. It's meant for TVs. So it's a little bit dimmer than I expected, but on the bright side, we can pretty much have a party in the back of the truck. I guess it's like a gamer type TV thing. So it should be getting dark here pretty soon and we'll see how well these lights work for filming. The last thing that we did is we added the four inch memory foam mattress that I had in my last truck cap camper. This thing is ridiculously comfy. I think I'm gonna sleep a lot better tonight. Not only is this gonna be a insulating layer, but it's just extremely comfy. There's still a couple things that I wanna do to this, but those were the necessities that I really wanted to get done before this trip. I'm excited to spend my summer in the back of this thing, camping out in different locations around Maine. It's peaceful. I might have spoke too soon. I think these lights are actually going to be perfect for evenings in the truck cap camper. It's definitely enough light for me to see, and I think the camera can see me quite well. We're gonna get a bright and early start tomorrow. Go out fishing Grand Lake Stream. If you like these truck cap camper videos, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Have a good night, and I will catch you in the next one. Let's get lost together. Let's go chase that pulse card. Wish you were here, weather. Let's get lost together.